Imagine a battery that promises not only to change the game, but to completely rewrite the rules. That's what Tesla is preparing with its new aluminum ion battery technology. Contrary to what many expected, it can deliver the same range as current lithium ion batteries, but using less energy per unit, thanks to an impressive leap in efficiency. And we're not talking about a small improvement. It's such a huge leap that it raises the question of whether we're not witnessing the dawn of a new era in electric vehicles. A simpler, cheaper, yet more durable battery. It's as if Tesla decided to ignore the path everyone else was following and forge its own path. And, frankly, that sounds much more exciting. The most impressive detail is its longevity. Talking about a 100-year lifespan for a car battery sounds like something out of science fiction, but that's exactly what Tesla's engineers are aiming for. Even after a decade of use, it would maintain between 80% and 85% of its original capacity, something that's practically impossible for conventional batteries today. And if that already sounds like a lot, wait until you hear that this battery can fully discharge in just 42 seconds. It's no exaggeration. We're talking about a leap that changes the meaning of instant power. Another point that defies logic is that, unlike batteries that age and lose performance, this technology behaves almost like a living thing. It improves over time. After 100,000 recharge cycles, tests show that it can become 13% more efficient than when it left the factory. It's as if use itself were a form of training, making the system more agile and capable. Few imagined that one day it would be possible to have a component in a car that doesn't wear out, but rather evolves. And that alone is enough to put any competitor on alert. Reducing manufacturing costs is also a separate issue. While most companies pursue tight profit margins with expensive technologies, Tesla seems to have found a rare balance, something that doesn't compromise performance, but drastically cuts production costs. It's a direct blow to the idea that to advance, you have to pay more. At the same time, it opens the door for the technology to reach a much wider audience, breaking the stigma that electric cars are luxury products. This combination of incredible durability and lower costs challenges the automotive industry's traditional business model. For decades, manufacturers have relied on battery degradation to profit from replacements and maintenance. Now, Tesla has come up with a product that can last a lifetime, virtually eliminating this cycle of planned obsolescence. It's easy to imagine how this causes unease behind the scenes at companies that have invested heavily in lithium-ion batteries and the constant consumption of parts and services. It's worth remembering that this revolution isn't just about autonomy and durability, but about a broader concept, reliability. Car buyers want to know their investment will be worthwhile for many years to come. With a battery that remains stable for decades, Owners no longer need to worry about performance drops and unexpected costs. It's almost like buying a car and being assured it will maintain its energy longer than the engine itself will need maintenance. The news of this new battery isn't limited to the automotive world. It's reverberating across the economic and geopolitical landscape with unexpected force. For China, which has built a $340 billion empire around lithium, it's as if its foundations are beginning to crack. This dominance, consolidated over decades, has always been seen as a strategic advantage on the global stage. But now, with Tesla betting on aluminum ion, an abundant and cheap resource, this Chinese trump card is rapidly losing its weight. It's as if an adversary has discovered a secret route to circumvent the blockade that has kept Beijing's game under control for so long. The impact was so great that, in less than three months, Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada suffered more than 47,000 cyber attack attempts, all with a single objective, to steal information about the production process of this new battery. This demonstrates the level of interest, or desperation, that competitors are feeling. It's not just a race for innovation, but a fight for survival. When a technological breakthrough threatens to change the rules of an entire market, the lines between legitimate competition 
and industrial espionage become dangerously blurred. And this pressure isn't just coming from rivals in the automotive sector. The rare earth's supply chain, which has traditionally revolved around elements like lithium, cobalt, and manganese, is also feeling the pinch. These materials are expensive, difficult to extract, and concentrated in a few countries, creating complex economic dependencies. Aluminum, on the other hand, is found on virtually every continent, is cheap to produce, and already has global processing infrastructure. In other words, it's not just a technical innovation, it's also a profound break in the geopolitical constraints that define battery production. For countries that until now had been on the fringes of this technological race, this opens up a range of possibilities. Imagine nations that currently lack significant lithium reserves, but possess large quantities of bauxite, the raw material for aluminum. With this shift, they could become significant players overnight. It's a rare redistribution of power, where mineral geography gains a new map. From a market perspective, this shift creates an interesting instability. China, accustomed to dictating prices and controlling export flows, could lose this leverage. And in this scenario, companies that manage to dominate the production of aluminum ion batteries will have unprecedented bargaining power. If Tesla maintains this advantage, it will not only consolidate itself as a leader in innovation, but also as an influential player in energy geopolitics itself. For investors, this sounds like music to the ears. Cheaper, more efficient technology, less reliant on fragile supply chains, means more predictable profit margins and faster scalability. But, like any movement that threatens major interests, it also means facing fierce resistance from those who profit from the status quo. And this resistance can come from governments, corporations, and even international alliances. The first technical difference that stands out is how aluminum interacts within the battery cell. Each aluminum ion carries three times more electrical charge than a lithium ion, which, in practice, means much more energy stored in the same space. But the leap doesn't stop there. Thanks to an architecture dubbed quantum tunnel, these ions move 23 times faster than lithium ions. It's like swapping a congested highway for a dedicated underground bullet train system, where nothing impedes the flow. This speed gain is crucial for ultra-fast recharging and more stable power delivery, even under heavy use. Beyond speed, there's the intelligence factor. Each cell features nano-structured graphene channels capable of self-repairing during charge and discharge cycles. In the world of traditional batteries, every cycle means wear and tear. But here, the process is the opposite. With each use, the internal structure adjusts, correcting micro damage and even optimizing conductivity. It's almost as if the battery is learning over time. This concept of continuous evolution completely transforms the relationship between wear and lifespan, dispelling the idea that power and longevity cannot go hand in hand. The specific energy is also impressive. Around 700 dollars dollar bank in field tests. To give you an idea, the best current lithium batteries are around 180 to 200 dollars dollar bank. We're talking about a more than threefold increase in energy density. This not only means greater range, but also the possibility of reducing battery size and weight without sacrificing performance. And in an electric car, every kilogram lost translates directly into efficiency and drivability. Another effect of this absurd density is the design freedom it offers. Manufacturers will be able to create lighter vehicles with more interior space, or even with chassis shapes and architectures unthinkable today. Tesla, for example, could explore more compact designs while maintaining ranges currently only possible in large sedans or SUVs. And for other sectors, such as electric aviation or maritime transportation, this lightness combined with high power is practically a ticket to new vehicle categories. And when it comes to charging, the contrast is almost humiliating for lithium. With this quantum tunnel structure, recharges that currently take hours 
can drop to minutes. Imagine filling a car's entire battery in less time than it would take to pay at the checkout and return to the vehicle. This factor alone breaks down one of the biggest psychological barriers to mass adoption of electric vehicles, range anxiety, and waiting times at chargers. There's also the issue of resistance to extreme conditions. These aluminum ion cells, due to their stable structure, better tolerate very low or very high temperatures, maintaining near optimal performance. In lithium batteries, thermal fluctuations affect both autonomy and lifespan, forcing manufacturers to invest in expensive and complex control systems. With aluminum ion, this additional cost can be eliminated or, at the very least, significantly reduced. Safety has always been an Achilles' heel for lithium batteries. The most feared problem is called dendrites, small, needle-like metal structures that grow during recharging and, over time, can penetrate the battery's separator, causing short circuits, fires, or even explosions. It's as if there's a silent enemy inside the cell, growing with each cycle. And despite advances in electronic management and insulating materials, the risk has never been completely eliminated. In the case of aluminum ion batteries, this specter practically disappears. Aluminum chemistry, especially when combined with certain liquid electrolytes, almost never forms dendrites. This ensures a much more stable operating pattern, even under ultra-fast recharges or intense use. Cutting-edge laboratories, such as Stanford, have already confirmed that these batteries withstand tens of thousands of charge and discharge cycles without signs of these dangerous structures forming. It's a leap of faith that could redefine safety standards in the industry. Another crucial factor is behavior in the event of a failure. While a lithium battery catching fire releases toxic fumes that are difficult to contain, Aluminum tends to be much less harmful to the environment and easier to control in emergency situations. This not only reduces the risk to drivers and passengers, but also to rescue and maintenance teams. In the current scenario, electric vehicle fires require special protocols and hours of work to be fully contained. With aluminum ion, this time could be drastically reduced. This robustness paves the way for applications in environments that currently challenge lithium. Think of military vehicles that must operate in desert regions under extreme heat, or research bases in Antarctica, where temperatures drop to brutal levels. With aluminum ion, the loss of performance in these extreme conditions is minimal, making the technology much more versatile. And this versatility is a strategic advantage for both civilian and military applications. Durability is also where this technology shines. While a well-maintained lithium battery can offer a few thousand cycles before significantly degrading, aluminum ion goes much further, with tests showing resistance to tens of thousands of cycles with minimal loss of capacity. This completely changes the economics. Fewer replacements, less disposal, and, consequently, less environmental impact. There's also the issue of maintenance. With a lower risk of failure and more even wear, cooling and monitoring systems can be simplified. This cuts costs, reduces weight, and even frees up space for other vehicle features. For the end consumer, this means fewer worries and unexpected expenses. And for manufacturers, fewer recalls, and reputational damage. When it comes to practical performance, it's impossible not to be impressed by the numbers that aluminum ion promises. In theory, a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y equipped with this battery could surpass the 1,000 mile mark, something close to 1,600 kilometers, on a single charge. It's a distance currently only achieved by combustion engine vehicles with generous tanks, and even then, rarely without refueling. However, engineers point out that, in practice, a more realistic value for daily use would be around 767 miles, or about 1,230 kilometers. Still, it's more than double the range of the best current models. This turbocharged range comes not only from the absurd energy density, but also from the reduced weight. A lighter battery means less strain on the motor, 
and better aerodynamics, which translates into greater efficiency. And this advantage doesn't just benefit range, acceleration, handling, and even braking become more agile. It's as if the car gained an athletic body without needing to go to the gym. Another game changer is recharging speed. With the quantum tunnel structure of aluminum ions, recharging an entire pack could take just minutes, less time than many drivers spend filling up with gas and paying at the cashier. This virtually eliminates range anxiety. One of the biggest obstacles to the mass adoption of electric vehicles, imagine taking a 700-kilometer trip and, halfway through, stopping for five or six minutes to continue on your way as if nothing had happened. This capability opens up new use cases. Heavy-duty transportation companies, for example, could replace diesel trucks without wasting time on long recharges. In electric aviation, where every kilo counts and every minute of recharging is critical, aluminum ion could be the missing link for short- and medium-haul commercial flights to become viable. Even the military and defense sectors are studying the technology as it combines high power with endurance in extreme conditions. Another indirect benefit of this increased range is flexibility in vehicle design. Manufacturers can choose to reduce battery size and, consequently, the cost of the car, while still maintaining a comfortable range for most drivers. This could open the door to more compact, affordable and accessible urban models, but without compromising consumer confidence in driving distance. It's also worth highlighting the psychological impact of this extended range. Today, many drivers still see electric cars as vehicles for short or medium distances, ideal for everyday use, but not for long trips. When you launch a car that can cross practically two states without recharging, perceptions change radically. The electric car ceases to be a second car and begins to compete directly with any combustion-powered vehicle. While price remains a barrier for many consumers today, Aluminum Ion promises to break down that barrier with a vengeance. The production cost per kilowatt, which for lithium ranges between $55 and $100, could drop to between $15 and $25 with aluminum. This difference isn't just significant, it's transformative. A battery pack for the Model 3, which currently costs around $600-$300, could cost closer to $2,000. For the Model Y, the price cut is even more impressive, from up to $11,400 to around $4,300. It's as if Tesla has found the key to unlocking the affordable electric car dream. And this reduction isn't limited to the battery's production cost. Because it's lighter, requires fewer structural reinforcements, and has fewer complex cooling systems, the entire car manufacturing process becomes cheaper. This affects everything from the logistics of transporting parts to the time each vehicle spends on the assembly line. At scale, these cumulative cost savings can translate into thousands of dollars less in the final price of each unit. The natural consequence of this economy is to create space for models that currently seem economically unviable. The much-talked-about Model 2 projected to cost around $15,000 becomes a tangible reality with this technology. It's not just about offering a cheaper electric vehicle, but about creating a product that competes with entry-level combustion cars, both in price and performance. This, indeed, is a direct blow to the heart of the traditional market, and it doesn't stop there. With such low costs, even retrofitting older vehicles could become viable, Imagine an official Tesla program to replace lithium-ion batteries in older models with aluminum-ion packs, offering greater range, improved safety, and extended lifespan at an affordable cost. This would not only extend the life of millions of cars already sold, but also strengthen the brand's customer base. Another economic impact is on auto insurance. Safer, more durable batteries tend to reduce the risk of accidents, which can directly impact policy values. For commercial fleets and transportation companies, this annual insurance savings adds up to reduced fuel and maintenance costs 